Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, let me show you how we got here. A paddleboard is usually what you use on a hot summer day with friends, expecting to cool off and sleep. But recently, a company called Free and Sup sent me an inflatable fishing paddleboard and said I could do anything with it. So I thought I'd test my balance at one of the most scenic private ponds, catch some fish, and hopefully it won't pop. Woo! Thank you everyone for 30,000 on YouTube. I'm so excited to get wait, out wait, today. Wait, 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 Ryan, Ryan. You forgot the Whoa. paddle. Chris, where'd you come from? Baltimore. I took a five hour AM track just to be here. Hey, no way. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is how we celebrate 30,000 on my channel. Okay, okay. Now, last year, I filmed the video with another paddle board. So I've been really looking forward to getting out on the water again. This entire board is more than 10 feet. Oh, dude, honestly, I think we can fit all three of us on here at some point. You think so? Yeah. Now, Chris doesn't know this yet, but one reason I'm really glad he's with me today is pump this thing is quite the labor and so we could switch out it's very simple there's just a single valve and do that plug her in and you give it a twist i'm gonna set a stopwatch here we go let's challenge ourselves to have this pumped up in less than 10 minutes 10 minutes <laughs> what? i think the key is small bursts not doing like these like long things but just doing these small bursts right here now this pond right behind us it has absolute slaps, like pancakes, mega cookie size gills. Just wanna give a big thank you to Free and Sup for sending me this thing. It makes my job a lot easier because gas these days, it's so expensive to take out the yin tin. I can't imagine having a big bass boat. The instructions read that we gotta get it to 15 PSI. Currently, we are at five. How's the timer looking, Chris? Four minutes, 30 seconds. I'm not here because, you know, I'm a good fisher or anything. I'm just here to do the manual labor that he doesn't want to do. I will say one thing I do like is this grippy material. It really reminds me of kind of those childhood play mats. 2,000 kids would know what I'm talking about. Ah! Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see those arms, flex them. Oh, I mean, I'm wearing a long sleeve. Oh, this is such a tricep workout. Yeah, I know, right? We are sitting at a solid 10. Five more, five more, five, five more. more. Five, five more. more pumps, five more pumps. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Hey, your boy Toby, I mean, I don't fish at all here, but I mean, the boys called me up from Texas and I was like, fine. I make way up just cause fishing got 30K subscribers. Bro, what is this? I'll say one thing, I'm already starting to sweat. Bro, and I'm already sweating too. It's only like 11 a.m. Bro, I'm sweating bad. I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're over 15. <laughs> I think we all deserve a drink of water. 11 minutes. We came out one minute short. But hey, we're going to make it up on the water. Woo, this thing is solid. If you put a blindfold over me, I probably wouldn't be able to tell this was an inflatable just because of how rigid it is. It's made out of some PVC material. So let's say I take this rock, right? I can scratch it all I want and it shouldn't really do that much. Or at least we'll find out. <laughs> Y'all remember when my channel was at like 200 subs? I do. <laughs> you guys were the day ones. You know, I may have forced you to watch every single video, but I really appreciate you guys, my friends, my family, thank God every day for what I can do. Of course, all of you guys who are watching this. Catch. Boom. So this board came with this rod holder. If I can figure out how to get it, it's a little... Oh, there we go. That's perfect right there. Now over here is a PVC rod holder I built for my inflatable kayak way back in the day. However, I found out, see these straps that are meant for storage? They're actually perfect for this. I just slide it right on. And boom, all of a sudden, I can hold three rods in the back. But look at that. That ain't coming off. Go ahead and smack it, Chris. Confirm with me. Yeah, that's, the, uh, that's on there. Good stuff. Let's get out on the water now. I got bullets of sweat just pouring down my face. The boys are on the boat, and I just got to carry this by my lonesome. Thankfully, it has a nice handle. Okay. I would guess this thing weighs about hmm, 40 pounds. The fish don't know what's coming. They ain't ready. I'm probably not ready. Please stay here as I get my paddle. As you know, safety first. Always gotta wear your life jacket. I'm a decent swimmer, but you never know what could happen to you. A giant grass carp could come out of the water and smack you, knocking you unconscious. Here goes nothing. Oh, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Let me start paddling. If this video hits two likes, 
I'll go fish a tournament, a bass fishing tournament on a paddleboard. Is it really? Yeah. Oh no, it's a Danklin danger right now. This thing tracks water really well. Oh, I just saw a fish. Hey, how many of you guys have ever fished on an inflatable fishing paddleboard? Raise your hand. Okay, well, are you guys scared of getting on here? <laughs> I tell you what, if I can catch a largemouth bass while on here, then you guys both have to come on, okay? Deal? Let me tell you, the beetle spin, probably the most underrated bait ever. Chris, this first fish is dedicated to you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, that might be a good one. Here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh! <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> it's a good gill, good gill, boys. <laughs> now the owner of this property has requested that with the fish we do catch, because of how scummy it is, he asks us to relocate these fish to another part of his property. I got a popper tied on now. Oh, yeah, that's money. It's in the shade. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that was sketch. The treble hooks just came flying at me, Mach 7. All right, I'm ready. That's it. At least it floats, am I right? <laughs> Oh yeah, cover them toes. Here's a fallen tree, which I think there will be a lot of bass sitting on it. I'm gonna first take a cast with a beetle spin. But this is a perfect ambush point, and I bet a ton of shad would love to hide in here as well. Oh, 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 the, oh, ah, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Whoa, it hit at the boat. That was so sick. It's a bass, <laughs> yes. Oh, all right, calm down, Ryan, calm down. Don't lose your stuff in the water. Started like musky figure eating that thing and he ate it. <laughs> what a cute little taco. Anyways, we'll let him back in. I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna let Chris take over now. Don't worry, I will be back on here because I had previous experience with these paddle boards. So my balance is still subpar, but I can at least stand on one foot, you know? Oh, 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 okay, maybe not. Let's examine the situation here, okay? I have a mic that is not waterproof. I have a camera that is unfortunately not waterproof at the moment because it's charging. I have a power bank that's also not waterproof, so uh, we're, we're gonna see how it goes. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh. We're on, we're on guys. Let's just say I do not want to stand up. Oh, oh guys, guys, we're gonna hit the wall. No, 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 no. If I end up actually catching a fish, I will stand up and attempt to uh, catch another fish. Oh, and I didn't even notice we are drifting off course, okay. I'm trying to, Ryan. Gosh. Guys, it's been an hour. I've hooked into probably over a dozen fish. I'm literally getting bit every single cast. And I have landed exactly the grand number of zero. So to allow the boys to not completely bake in the sun, I will speed up this fishing process by standing up now. Everybody just calm down. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this is actually mad scary. Well, we're standing. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. I came all this way from Baltimore. I know I'm the manual labor guy, but I uh, still want to catch something. See that little shady cove over there? Hot midday. If there's no fish there, there's no fish in this entire body of water. Oh my gosh. Yes! Please, please, please stay. Please stay. Freaking stay. Okay, well, it's a bluegill. But hey, slab. We did it. The oars in the water. Oh no, <laughs> no, no. No. Oh, that's a nasty one life fest. So I'm like catfish count fisher again here. I'm not exactly your fisherman. Like, I don't know, spending like seven, eight hours here in this pond honestly seems kind of boring to just fish. But you know, to sit back and relax in this paddleboard, I could definitely do that. So instead of me reviewing its fishing abilities, I'm going to be reviewing how well this thing could, re like, you know, you could relax on this. So I'm like, lights out. Toby, wake up. Chris, no, let me sleep. Well, I think it's time for me to give a review. I was on that paddleboard for approximately two hours. For one, it's very stable. Uh, there's like a little grippy textury part where you're supposed to stand. That helped a lot. There's also a lot of convenient areas where they hold things. There's like a camera mount, which is really easy for filming. The only real, I guess, critique I have is to possibly place the rod holder somewhere else other than the middle. Then again, it doesn't really matter too much because you can take it off. We've only been able to catch bluegill and bass today, and I think I know whose fault it is, Fisher Yin. We figured out the truth. It's not that he can't catch any fish, 
is that he can only catch bluegill and one like one lucky bass and it's a joke right now like he's supposed to be one of this like a good fisherman that's what he keeps telling us he hypes himself up his videos are actually good but except you know when we're actually with him in person it's like a different experience you know maybe because he's not who he really is i'm thinking he's just a bluegill catcher and that's it nothing else yo i'm a catfish cow who took two hours before standing up i'm gonna stand up right now why am i shaking so much this is not good I mean, I've paddleboarded a lot before. I've never used an inflatable one because whenever I go, I just rent one from like a lake company and stuff, but. See, Cavish Cal, instead of taking two hours to stand up, it only took me 30. And that's because I wanted to sleep. Toby, as much as you're enjoying yourself, just relaxing on it, I'm gonna hop on and we're gonna catch some fish together. Oh, oh, oh. alrighty. <laughs> nice, I'm on my own lonesome now. I have no friends just like normal life. And I'm about to end this day with a giant bass. Um, by giant, I mean like two inches. Part of what I love about paddleboard fishing is the fact that you can stand up. Unless you have a lot of money, then you can really afford to buy a stand-up kayak, but I can't, so this is such a good alternative. Well, it seems like the storm came in a little early. We gotta get off this water because there's a lot of lightning. Honestly, this might just be my favorite paddleboard yet. I think there's a good chance you guys will be seeing this back on the channel soon again. So if you have been on the fence about getting an inflatable paddleboard because maybe you don't have enough storage at your house, hopefully this review will have helped you. I would give it a solid nine out of 10. I took a point off because of the rod holder. It could be placed in a better spot. I would say in the back, just like that. But I'm not looking forward to get electrocuted. Oh, with 20 pound bluegill.